So guys, I'm here in downtown Hong Kong, China, day two of business. And as you can see behind me, it's a spectacular view of buildings and architecture. And um, it's a hot day. Um, lucky for me, I'm used to this kind of weather, so it's not a big deal. But it's a really, really, really lovely day today. A great day to do a lot of business, uh, look at products, review products. And uh, that's why I'm here. I'm actually, I'm working, so it's uh, not a vacation. That being said, guys, um, let's do a product review, right? Yeah, let's do one. So let, let's look at a product right now. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi, guys. So welcome to part two of a three-part series where we're looking at essential tech that you should take with you when you travel. Um, in this series, uh, in this video, I'm going to look at the ever essential, because these are things you don't really think about until, it's, until you get there. So this is a uh, universal, this is a travel adapter. So all it is, it actually has multiple plug configurations depending on where you are. So because I'm here in Hong Kong, China, you can see that I will have issues with the North American plug, right? Because this plug doesn't work here. So this is what this is. So we just look at this adapter quickly. And this is something that people don't really think about. I mean, hotel rooms have plugs, but there are only so many. And we have our laptops, we have our phones, we have our gaming systems. There are things we want to charge. And it'd be great if you had lots of plugs. You can get these at any hardware store. Uh, and they're cheap, right? Uh, this is a simple six plug um, surf strip. Um, I bought it for like 10 bucks, right? I got this for my kid, I think, for 10 bucks. Anyway, you know, you get the drift, right? So these two are essential if you're a traveler. So here is what I'm talking about, right? So in Hong Kong, in China, we have the British plug system. These are the big three plugs where you have on earth. And with the, the, the British uh, plugs, they have a built-in fuse in them. Um, but um, I have this. North American plug, so I have an issue. Now, the good thing about these adapters, uh, this is one um, I have here. You have multiple configurations, so you can actually just slide out the buttons here. So this is, of course, the North American plug. All uh, right, if you needed that, if you, and if you don't need it, you slide it back in. We go over here, press this one down. Here is another plug type. I know this plug type is, uh, I think it's, uh, you find this in some countries in Africa. Um, but you understand my gist, right? Um, this is, a, you know, this this covers all the, the major, all the major plug configurations in the world. Um, here is another plug configuration, right? Um, and here is the British plug version. I call it. This is the one I will be using for my trip here in China, right? Uh, so I have one, two, three. I think I covered all four, right? Four plug configurations, and then here um, you can then plug uh, plug in your your North American plug in here, um, and then there's the other plug configurations you can plug in here as well. So the same configurations that you have here that are male. So you have the male. These are the male versions of the four plug configurations I showed you. Um, you have the female version right here. So um, if you're if you're from England and you're traveling to the United States or Canada. And we, we, you can then use office. You, you get you get the picture. You can just use this plug, and then you can plug your British plug, um, your British plug in here, right? So it works either way. So for me, I'm just going to use this. I can plug it in here. Now, one thing to note too as well, this one does have, yeah, this one does have a fuse in it as well. So that's uh, that's important because the British plug configurations do have a fuse, and this does have a built-in fuse. So I plug this in here, like that, and then I can plug in my North American surf strip in here, like that, and I have power. I'm good to go. Now the good thing about most modern small electronics like smartphones and laptops and all of that, the power supplies are rated between 100 and 240 volt, which means you can use this on a 240 volt system or you can use it on a 110. Right, it's auto sensing, so you can plug this in because although this is a North American configuration plug, the voltage coming through here is still 240, right? The 240 volts English English uh, standard or English version, or you know, you know what I mean. So I can plug this in safely in here, and I can still charge my phone because uh, this is my Samsung charger, for example, right? Uh, you can do the same thing with your your laptop chart, your laptop power supplies, be it Apple, Microsoft. Um, they all work the same way. They all have that uh, uh, auto sensing um, uh, voltage uh, feature. And if you're not sure, you can just look on your on your charger. 
Uh, and you can see the voltage setting, uh, the voltage specification, and it says 100 to 240 volts, so it works. Yeah. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed that last video. So a couple of things before you leave. Number one, subscribe to this channel right now. Click on the button that says subscribe below this channel right now. And um, number two, like this video if you like it, be honest. And uh, number three, I want to hear some comments from you. So let me know what videos you want me to do, you know, what particular product, if it's a game. Just leave a comment below and let me know. That way I can give you better content going forward. Now, one other thing, you should subscribe. Uh, and you should also check out the links below this video too because I have links to uh, where you can get all the products that you see on my videos online at great deals, um, as well as links to my, my website as well. So by you know going and checking out the links, by definitely subscribing, you also will be understanding how you can be eligible for, for, for giveaways, right? So. I'm going to be doing all kinds of cool giveaways on stuff like what you see behind me, you know, Game Boy accessories, you name it. Um, and that's another thing as well. In the comments, let me know what giveaways you want me to do as well. So that's it, everybody. So quick recap, subscribe, leave your comments, and um, definitely um, check, check out my website as well. Uh, so by subscribing and going to my website, you'll understand how you can participate in the giveaways. Uh, well, of course, one of the requirements is you have to be subscribed. So. It's a no-brainer. So anyway, guys, till next time, happy gaming.